Good morning, welcome to my Munro challenge. Today is day 68. I'm walking route number 88, which is Scaith Chul, corner wing, and Meal Glass, which is a rounded green grain green grey hill. I think I've walked a rounded green grey hill before. Anyway, away we go. So you can see you can park carefully on the uh, roadside, which is just off the main road. But there's uh, various signs beyond here saying no parking beyond this point. So uh, I guess you've got to be here early. There's already uh, three cars, including mine here. So uh, away we go. The guidebooks suggest you can see the tops from the uh, car. I'm setting off on the lane, so I suspect we're up there somewhere. So uh, I can just see the track that I'll be taking the other side of the farm building skirting that little woodland and then we'll be uh, meandering our way up there I suppose. It doesn't look that bad from here but I'm sure it's going to be a lot worse than it looks. I have to say there's little um, foot markers showing you the way. The, uh, tr the landowners trying to keep you right. Now the path goes uphill now and it follows this burn all the way up to a dam I believe before, uh, before we veer off. So we're still following this uh, track up towards the dam. Now over there is Scaith Pool, the first Munro of the day. And then we're going to drop down and then climb over there to Mill Glass, which is over there. It, this path does uh, make its height at a really nice gradient, so you're uh, making height at a reasonable pace. So that's the first sight of the dam. We'll continue over this footbridge up to the dam and then we'll be hanging a right and the start of the climb in earnest. So here's the dam. Um, going across the, uh, the burn here. And you can see uh, quite a distinct footpath actually, uh, heading up that way. So uh, we'll take the path and uh, head towards the top. So there you go. The plan is to crest this first rise. You can see ahead, hang a left and make your way to the top. I would imagine this footpath could be extremely squelchy in uh, bad weather. It's been a, had a bit of a dry spell so it's not too bad at the minute. Yeah, I'm just approaching this shoulder and the, uh, the path that was has disappeared. Um, so we're just uh, making our way up pathless to this uh, first little rise. I'm on this shoulder and there is a faint path up here taking us to the top. You see ahead, Skaith tool. So here we are, Skate Chul. Wow, that's Ben Moore over there in the background. Well, it's, it's wrapped in cloud. Oh, I did consider that today, but the forecast was, again, it was quite a low cloud base. So uh, I think we've just about got away with it here. That's where we're going next over there, but apparently it's quite a steep, a, a steep drop and steep climb. So. Uh, there we go, We've got various Munros knocking around that um, we're going to have to tick off over the next three or four weeks. So this is absolutely ridiculously steep, <laughs> pathless, I'm dropping down to the uh, the bee lap between the two, as you can see. Very, very steep. And then we're going to be, uh, then I have to again, make my way up the other side pretty much pathless as well as i'm dropping down <clears throat> i'm trying to pick out a route going up the other side so the idea is to get up to the uh that shoulder that you can see ahead and then uh, i'm going to skirt my way along the tops to the summit but i've got to find my way up there and i can see a faint what might be a track i'm not sure but I, i'm pretty much can see where i want to be so uh, let's see if I can make my way up once I get down there. 
<laughs> I'm just looking back just to show you really how <coughs> steep the bank side is that I uh, descended down. Wow. So we've got this uh, this side to contend with now. It looks equally steep. So I've picked up a faint path, which has been uh, quite good really, it's skirting its way around the uh, bog. And uh, heading up very steep side over there. And then once we get to the top of that, which is a way away, we'll then head over towards the summit. I have to say, <clears throat> there's a myriad of little trods and paths and tracks and all going nowhere. It's a case of just weaving your way up this mountainside to that top over there before we head to the ascent. Very steep, very hard going. Getting to the business end now. God, this is steep. Steep and pathless. Try and put it in some sort of perspective. Ben more over there. Keep plodding. I just want to show you the severity of this slope. <laughs> it's possibly the steepest thing I've climbed so far in Scotland. Possibly. It's getting up there. So we're at the top of the steep bank. Very, very steep bank. This is Bean Sheetak, I believe. Uh, it's my best Gaelic. But this isn't the top. Uh, although it's 937 metres, it's not. It's just classed as a top, not the Munro. The Munro's over there. But we've done all the hard work now. So here we go, Mill Glass. Over there, it's 12 metres higher than this point. So um, I think it's uh, 59, 37. Oh, 22 metres higher. Beg your pardon, bad maths. So uh, we're going to just drop down, follow this track along to the uh, to the top over there. So here we are, the top of Meal Glass. Wow. I'm so unfamiliar with all these tops, these Munros. I can't really name any of them. So it's quite a grassy track down. Looking at this. I'm just looking across at the first Munro we did this morning. Seems quite a way away from there, this one. Looking, looking across from over there here, they didn't seem too far. Isn't that amazing? Dropping down very, very steeply. And the path drops down very, very steeply. Stan's enjoying the snow. <laughs> from this angle, Skate Chul. What we did this morning looks very, very imposing. A very barren, open landscape. So uh, you just got to really take it. There's no real path as such, so you got to take a bearing and just head in the general direction of the end. <laughs> oh dear. So as I said earlier, it's <clears throat> very difficult underfoot, boggy, squelchy, pretty much pathless. Although I've just picked up a path. Uh, heading in the direction that I'm aiming at. So you're meandering around these various troughs, peaks and troughs and just w wandering your way down really. Uh, there is a path now, there wasn't earlier, so that's something. Doesn't Ben Moore look absolutely magnificent and the sun catches it. So we've come off the moor side which was pretty much pathless and nothing. And we've landed on here. So uh, I suspect this might take us back to the bottom. So we're back at the, uh, the crossroads at the beginning. So the car's parked just the other side of that bridge on the little lane up at the side of the, uh, the main road. Hi, 
welcome to day 68 of my Munro challenge today I walked route number 88 it's Wednesday the 27th of April uh, I parked on a little roadside um, road uh, off the main road um, tight up in the curb um, so the day initially it, set, it started off very very straightforward up a, up a long track it's going to take a while to get to the dam um, now and, and I guess that's it for it being straightforward after that all sorts happened it, the path became relatively steep and eventually became pathless um, all the way up to the shoulder and um, so, so you had to navigate your, your own way up to the shoulder uh, after which point there was a path taking you up to the summit of Skaith Chu now when I got on that path I looked where it was coming from and it looked to skirt round the back side of the shoulder so I suspect I maybe headed too directly up it and if it had gone round the edge I may have uh, picked up a better route up less steep let's say fabulous views from the top uh, unfamiliar to me because I'm, I'm I've not been in this part of Scotland before so loads and loads of peaks could hardly name any of them but obviously that's going to change over the next few days so the fun really starts um, you, you kind of go along the top for a bit um, you drop down to a little like BLAC and then a massive 300 meter almost vertical grassy descent it is steep it was ridiculously steep um, and you drop all the way down to a big boggy BLAC um, and uh, and then you start climbing um, pathless again and you're making a beeline up to the the shoulder uh, Ben Cheesteak I think it's called um, again a very very steep particularly the top section um, it's as steep as anything I've climbed in Scotland so far I'm not saying it's the steepest but it's certainly very very steep uh, and you get to a trig point at Ben uh, um 937 meters uh, it's a top it's not a Munro uh, and you can see a very rare path which takes you to the summit of Meal Glass um, again fabulous vistas uh, Ben Moore I think I could see Ben Lawyers um, but I can't name any of the others really um, it was great 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 place just to look around at the various summits uh, then the fun starts again it's a very very long pathless haggy boggy lumpy peat troughs really difficult navigation all, all the way down the moor side um, it is steep at in places um, it was really really tough going um, until eventually if you get your nav right um, you meet a track which is pretty much almost at the bottom uh, not too far to go once you meet the track back to um, back to the car very very tough day tough underfoot now it was only 11 miles a day it took me six and a half hours and there was 3940 feet of ascent steep ascent most of it uh, funnily enough I bumped into uh, one of the chaps who'd set off earlier uh, in the car park when I got back and um, and he, he glibly said well they're two Munro's I'll never do again <laughs> and I, I suspect it was because of the terrain as it was um, but there you go two more bagged <laughs> Thank you.